All new at 6, CBS 17 is taking you inside one of the nation's premier testing labs that's right here in the Triangle. Yeah, the UL lab ensures things you buy are safe and effective, but it's not easy. Tonight, Maggie Newland digging deeper into how the testing works. Inside UL Solutions Research Triangle Park facility, chainsaw motors buzz. Swimmers jump into a pool. And Mark Titus repeatedly runs a vacuum cleaner across the same small stretch of carpet. These are just a few of many tests that ensure products we use every day meet safety and performance standards. This is a performance testing up here. Each measurement meticulous and carefully controlled, from the amount of sand in the carpet to the speed of the vacuum. We'll go down and back a number 16 total times, then we stop, then we weigh how much we picked up in the canister, and how much is still in the carpet. This ceiling fan test is all about efficiency. The more efficient, the less energy you use, and the more money you save. Some tests can save money. Others can save lives. This test is, we're evaluating the saw chain that's placed onto a chainsaw. It's all basically mimicking the exact same thing that it would be a person holding the chainsaw, and if they hit something, straight on with the front of the nose. That can cause kickback, which can be extremely dangerous. With kickback, when you're impacting this quadrant area, it would cause the machine, because of its rotation, to lift up and back towards the operator. So it could actually hit you? It will hit you. Um, it is one of the most serious injuries that we get from the chainsaws and can cause death. The whole idea of this is to get the results from this as low as possible. Products that meet standards receive a UL mark like this one. UL Solutions has been in the testing business for more than a century. In this facility in Research Triangle Park, we evaluate everything from fireman's garments and um, flotation devices that you might use at the lake in the summertime to big industrial, you know, switch gear. Shante Mario is vice president and general manager of identity management and security for UL Solutions. She says the company's role is developing as technology does. We've expanded into other areas like security and sustainability. They don't just look at the products themselves. We look at the manuals to ensure that the consumer is being informed or the user is being informed. This is how this product is intended to use. That symbol means that the product that you are approaching has been evaluated to a standard that has been published either globally or nationally. For an air purifier like this one. Well, they can throw like 40,000 particles of cigarette smoke in the air, turn on the air cleaner after 20 minutes and see how much it actually pulled out. Do you find that, they're, that most of them are pretty efficient and do, the, do a good job? The ones we've been having through here are, but there are some, you know, that don't do, but that's why we got to test them. What if an item doesn't pass your test? What happens to the item yet next? So if an item doesn't pass, then the, the, the responsible party, whether it be the brand or the manufacturer, is informed that it doesn't comply. Typically, they go back and they say, OK, this is what was wrong. This is the test that it failed. This is where the construction wasn't exactly right. Um, this is where we have a, a flaw in our code. And they make the changes that are necessary. And then they resubmit for a secondary evaluation so that they can get that certification mark. Even with that UL mark, though, it's vital to follow manufacturers' instructions, no matter what product you're using. And when it comes to quality and safety, Titus says he's learned a valuable lesson over years of testing products. Just because it's more expensive doesn't mean it's better. Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News.